We're out here in the Black Hills of South Dakota to test some ammo and show you a tip on adjusting for wind with Jeff Hoffman, Black Hills Ammunition. Good to see you. Ryan, good to see you. <laughs> All right, so you guys develop a, an incredible amount of loads for the 223556. This one is kind of a newer one and it's very special, the Mark 262 Mod 1-C for consumers. What is it and why is it so special? That load is based, Ryan, on our military load. The Mark 262 is the only uh, precision round for 556 in the military inventory, and we're the only company that, that's ever held it. But there's a commercial need for that same ammunition. So we developed Mark 261 Mod, Mod 1C so that we could offer it to the commercial. The, the military, they, they've got lots of rules. One of them is you can't sell military ammunition to the public. Right. So we came up with the, the Dash C standing for commercial. And when you say precision, we gotta talk about the, what type of precision are we talking about here? Really, really tight. In general, we try to make sure any of our rifle loads will shoot men at angle. Uh, but the, the Mark 262 Mod 1C, that one is special. We send that off to Sierra for testing and it has to shoot 0.6 groups or less for 10 shot groups. 10, 10 shot groups. 10, 10, 10, 10 shot, shot groups. groups. That's and, and extreme. With an aver average of 0.6. That's extreme. I mean, 77 grain bullet, so it's going to buck the wind, do a little bit better, but you're a shooter, you're a thinker on this stuff, and you've developed a quick formula that we want to share with the audience, so let's go shoot it. Jeff, you're a shooter, in addition to making really good ammo, you've thought about this stuff, so we know trajectory is consistent, pretty easy to adjust for, drop. Correct. But wind is where we separate the pros from the Joes. Yep, there's, a, there's an old saying in the shooting community, the, the amateur's concerned with tra trajectory, the professional's concerned with wind because the wind is far less predictable. So Jeff, you've developed a formula to quickly adjust for wind using a 5.56, what is it? For, for a 5.56, Ryan, uh, the formula is range squared, range expressed as a single digit and that gives you your answer in inches. For example, uh, this first target that we're gonna shoot is just under 300 yards. Mm -hmm. So for a 10 mile an hour full value wind, the formula would be three times three is nine. That's your base answer, nine inches of nine wind inches. drift in a, in a 10 mile an hour wind. Okay. And then after that, you of course, as we discussed, you have to adjust for the actual wind angle and the wind velocity. But you've got a starting spot now, which is, without a formula, you don't even have a starting spot. Yeah. You, you, you know that your max wind is this. It's no more than that. And the important thing is, this is something you can do quickly. You can say, okay, 300 yards, nine inches. Okay, we're not quite at a full value, uh, or we're not quite at 10 miles an hour, it's five, so we'll cut it in half. And then you can make those corrections and make the shot quickly. Exactly. All right, Jeff, we've got some targets out here. Let's put it to the test. Sounds good. I think that first one's just under three for the, the coyote target. Hit. All right, dead coyote. All right, uh, let's do a little bit further one. Let's test this. Okay, uh, on the next ridge over, more to the right, there's a, a 500 yard. That's a reduced E. It'd be nicer if that was a full size E, it'd be, it's, it's, a, it's a reduced easier. E. So it'd be 25 inches, but we're not quite at a a full value in, so. Yep. So 25 inches would be our max, so we reduce that. The wind's a little less than, than 10, the angle's a little bit less. Hit. Hit. Nice. I love simple solutions for shooters, whether you're in the field, whether you're, whether you're military. Black Hills Ammo making super accurate, quality ammo. These guys are shooters. They're thinking about this stuff. To see all of Gun Talk's content, go to guntalk.com, guntalktv.com, or sign up for the Gun Talk newsletter.